it's a lot of fear that, you know, how am I going to manage myself? How am I going to budget things? These are the emotions and thoughts that faced Joanne Floristel when she turned 18 and aged out of the foster care system. It was tough growing up in a foster home. It was even tougher leaving her foster mother behind. We build a bond with them. We get used to them, we get adjusted to them. This is the person that you've known as a parent. Joanne is 23 and in school to become a high-end chef. She lives alone and struggles at balancing her security job and classes. Each year in the U.S., more than 27,000 young people age out of foster care without emotional and financial support. After aging out, young people like Joanne are faced with obstacles. Many are not prepared for independent living. Lack of health insurance is another problem. Yes, I have. Queen Sylvester has fostered 10 kids. She says most of her kids ended up coming back to her doorstep after having no place to go. Homelessness. And then they came back to live with me because they couldn't make it out there on their own. They couldn't find a job. They didn't have any insurance. When they had toothaches, I had to take them to the dentist and pay out of my pocket. Queen says she has used religion as a tool to help her foster kids overcome the challenges and issues they face. Glory. Give him honor. Pray for them, pray with them, take them to church and let them know there, there's another way. You don't have to give up. Recently, the Florida Senate and the House passed a bill eliminating many restrictions placed upon foster care youth. And now another bill is being proposed, one that would extend support from 18 to 21 years old. Meanwhile, many community organizations are lending a helping hand. Chantel Smith and Victoria Falanga are founders of Paragon Partnerships, which provides housing for young adults transitioning from foster care while they attend college or trade and a school. major issue that they face is housing. So homelessness is a major issue for kids who age out of foster care. And with that issue growing, Every day, these children are forced to try to find a place to live. We provide a live-in mentor so that when they hit a bump in the road, we're here to say it's okay. Both ladies say there is still a need for solutions that many foster kids face. For UMTV, I'm Kemrell Leppinger.